Hooray! This is so exciting. Truly, I'm delighted to see this room, beautiful faces, good friends, for an extremely important topic. We're here to talk about the subject of the Commission on Social Development that is going on right now. Has everybody been to the meetings? Yes? Awesome. And today, our event is about youth and poverty and mental health and well-being, an extremely important triumvirate of issues. We are absolutely delighted that mental health and well-being is in the Sustainable Development Goals in Target 3.4. And <laughs> yes, Chair, Ambassador Otto has been very um, important in making that happen. We have other ambassadors here, Ambassador Bogay from Hungary, Ambassador Lois Young from Belize, who were also very supportive. The Belgian mission and here supported and represented by Pascal Buffin um, has been very supportive. So we have our friends of mental health here um, and many more uh, who have supported mental health, which is extremely important for sustainable development. We are going to focus on the means of implementation because that is what is going on now with regard to how are we going to implement and make sure that mental health and youth are involved and that we help them to rise out of poverty and to develop um, in their communities. And so we have three programs we're going to present that actually show that. You will be very excited to see them. I know I am. They're very important to me. One is from the United States here. Another is from Africa. And a third is from Afghanistan. So it covers the different areas. And we also have a representative from the E who's doing work in, with regard to the EU. So we're covering the regions in order to make sure that young people rise out of poverty, have chances really in life, and we support and empower them with their well-being. So we also are going to be treated to a play, an original play written by young people about this issue. You will hear about it from them directly and a song. So we love to do this with regard to using the arts also to really empower young people and to show this issue. We've been treated already. But we're going to be treated to a very special performance uh, by the Rybin School of Drama. Susan Rybin is a good friend of mine. She couldn't be with us because she is actually in uh, starring on Stars uh, TV right now. But her troupe is here. And her daughter, who is an amazingly talented young woman, standing right there in the, in the red dress, um, Sophia Angelica, who, uh, who is a writer and an actor and a singer, um, and she will. Uh, she also wrote this play, uh, "The Way Up and Out," is and has with her two of Susan's drama students, uh, and they are going to perform an original play. And um, we will hear a special song that is about this issue. So you can explain it. Thank you, Sophia. And we are a Latino acting school who like to help uh, young kids seven and up reach their dreams and be able to pursue their goals. And so my friends and I are going to do a small skit uh, about Carlos, who is a young boy who is going through mental health issues and who feels like he has no one and who has a lot of bad influences in his life. I mean, his dad is an alcoholic, his mother doesn't believe in him, and his brother wants to try and get him into drugs and alcohol and beating up on girls. And then I'm going to sing an original song that I wrote when I was 10. It's actually the first song I ever wrote. And uh, then we're going to have some audience participation. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy. Yo 
soy tu madre y te digo la verdad. I'm your mother and I tell you the truth. You're such a slob. Look at all your dirty underwear everywhere. You don't even help around the house. You don't help with anything, with the dishes. I don't even know why I ever had you. I wish I had a girl who would actually help and would actually love me. Carlos! Oye! Oye! I'm your father, soy tu padre. Cuantos veces te tengo que decir? How many times do I have to tell you? No tenemos nada de dinero. Y tú vienes del colegio? Hacer esa mierda? You don't have any good grades. How are you gonna be anything? You'll never be anything. No vales nada. Carlos, as your teacher, I have to be honest with you. I really thought that you were going to be something. But you're just not cutting it in class. In fact, you're cutting class. I don't know what to do with you. No sé cómo ayudarte. Yo, how you doing, man? Oh, yo, mira, mira, hermano. Yo, yo, I just... <laughs> yo, I just shot up. Yo, this shit is so dope. You gotta try, mira, mira, hermano. Tienes que tratarlo. It's so good. Come here. Just, just... Oh, okay. I have homework to do, okay? I'm just doing my homework. And oh, homework. What's I'm homework? homework? What's homework? Come on. Yo, yo, this is, this is the shit to do. But look, look we're gonna go? Yo, I mean, you, I guess you're right, but look at you. You're so messed up. What if I get about you, huh? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, bro, okay. I'll leave you alone, okay. You're a freaking loser, you know that? I'm a freaking loser! I know! I'm a freaking loser! You're right. Other guy is fooling me. All the time. My parents think that I'm never gonna do anything with my life. Nobody believes in me. My father doesn't believe in me. But I once had a dream. I wanted to be something. I wanted to be a photographer. Many movies. Also, I'm a mayor of New York, but look at me. Nobody, nobody believe in me. I'm done. I'm done. Twin comes! I'm getting right in front of it! I don't care anymore of this life. I don't care anymore of this life. I'm sorry. Let's do it. Are you okay? You don't look good. I'm not good. Nobody likes me! Nobody likes me. Just get out of the way. What is gonna come? Okay, what please. are you doing? Carlos! Please, please. Carlos! Carlos! Please. Look at me. Look at me. Carlos, I know your name, yes. I know that you're gonna do a lot with your life. I've seen you around school. Come on, just sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Take a seat. Go. Tell me, what's bothering you? Nobody likes me. 
That is the problem. My father doesn't believe in me. Nobody does. There are so many people who feel that same way. You're not the only one, Carlos. Come on. There are so many websites that tell us so. Websites? Look. Look at this. I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to show you. There is this whole report. And it's called Mental Health Matters. Social Inclusion of Youth with Mental Health Conditions from the United Nations. Division for Social Policy and Development, Department of Economic and Social Affairs. Look at it. It says that one in five kids have had mental problems in their lives. It also says on this other site that at least one in four kids have had symptoms of depression. You have to understand that. Not the only Not the only one. You're not the only Carlos. Come on, look at these other statistics. It says that at least one in five teens have thought about suicide. From feeling lonely, from being bullied, from drugs, from all of that. You know you're not like that. And it also says that at least one in five kids have thought about suicide and have gone through it. I just, I thought, I was the only one. You're not. Carlos, tú no eres el único que se siente así. There is a way up, instead of a way out, through suicide. There are all these websites that show us what we can do. There are these websites that show us statistics to make us feel better. And there are these music videos that can make us feel better. It shows us about depression, about peer pressure, about how gangs and drugs and violence happen. Carlos, you didn't have to take that way out in front of the train. People care. I care. How can you care about me? You don't even know me. Well, I do care about you. Me importas. And I want to get to know you better. Look at you. You're different. You want to help me. Huh? I may be different, but we're all the same. Somos humanos. Come on. Te voy a enseñar que somos similares. See? We're similar. You know, I get sad too, but I pull out of it. You have to know that you are loved. You have to know that you're not the only one. Here, listen to this. So many challenges to face. So many people in the race. So many dreams you want to chase. You gotta do things you don't there's things that don't seem right Or you're caught up in a lie But if you want to reach your goal You gotta fight and take control Of all the different paths you have to choose Your feelings tell you what to do You know, if you want to be a star Just be who you are Cause you're perfect from the start I guess I'm gonna fight for my life and my dreams. Just thank you for saving my life. Thank you.
short skit and you saw how Carlos was in a really bad situation and we found ways to pull him out of it. I showed him some facts about depression that, so he could see that he's not alone and I showed him that he was loved. So how about you guys? Do any of you have any advice uh, for Carlos? Anything that he could do to probably get better? Yes. Hi, my name's Bridie and um, I'm from the Division of Social Policy and Development and I have a suggestion um, for Carlos um, uh, to help bring himself out of a situation where he is feeling hopeless. Um, I think the idea of having a toolbox, um, which is something that uh, Wendy definitely touched on, um, whether it's listening to music or uh, watching music videos, something that you enjoy. Uh, another another tool um, that I, I could suggest is, is exercise. And it doesn't necessarily have to be vigorous exercise. It could be just a walk in your favourite park or just maybe a stroll across the beach. So th thank you so much to the Ryben School of Drama, to the brilliance, really, of Sophia Angelica, and thank you, Dylan Calderon, really, Dylan and Cesar Fernandez. These are rising stars from the Hispanic community who are in the Ryben School. You did a great job. Thank you. Bless you all. Okay, thank you.